So when we talk about electricity in the home, what we're talking about is the mains supply. So the electricity that comes through the power sockets um, and so you plug in with what we call a three pin plug. So the UK main supply um, is alternating current and sometimes you'll see this written as AC. And what alternating current means is it repeatedly changes direction. And sometimes you'll see this on a graph where it has usually the potential difference on this side and then the x-axis is time and um, you will see it as a graph like this. So the it goes from like a maximum positive to a maximum negative. So it's always changing direction from going positive to negative to positive to negative. So it's changing direction in the wires the whole time. Um, the frequency of the UK main supply is 50 hertz and the potential difference um, is equivalent to 230 volts. Um, so, the, you, in the UK, so the main supply is distributed by something called the national grid. And you need to know that the national grid is um, a network and the things that are in the network are cables and transformers that distribute electricity. So you, I mean cables are literally, you know, the wires that carry um, the, the alternating current, um, but what we mean by transformers is um, it's a device that either steps up um, the potential difference, so this increases the potential difference, and this is um, used for long distances. So if we're talking about it going from the power station to um, kind of a more local area, a housing estate or what have you, um, it, it when it's traveling over long distances this is because we want less energy to be wasted through heating okay however you also have step down transformers which do the opposite they decrease the potential difference um, and this is because it is safer to be used in homes. So the big power cable is like on pylons. That doesn't have 230 volts in it. That has 400,000 volts or um, something, you know, very high. Whereas in our homes, it gets stepped down to 230 volts. So it is safer for us to use. So once it gets to um, a plug, so if we have we have a plug so let's imagine that I've taken off the um, the kind of back of this plug so we have a blue wire that's connected to a kind of pin so you have three pins So you have a blue wire, um, you have a brown that connects here, and then we have a green and yellow striped wire that goes to the top. So the green and yellow striped wire goes to this top pin is the earth wire and the job of the earth is to connect it to the ground um, and it there's no potential difference unless 
there is a fault. So the earth wire is a safety feature. If there is no earth wire, then it has to have a plastic case. Okay. So if there's no earth wire, then it has to have a plastic case and that's so that you don't get electrocuted. Um, okay, so the blue is the neutral wire and the brown is the live wire. And the live wire carries the current Okay, the potential difference between these two, so the potential difference is between the live and the neutral, and this is the, the potential difference that's 230 volts. Okay, um, oh, there's something that I've forgotten. This is the fuse. And the fuse is a piece of wire, or it's a little tiny device that's in a plug that it melts if the current gets too high. So it's a safety feature, really. If the current gets too high, the fuse melts, um, and that breaks the circuit because the live wire, the current would be going through here. If the current gets too high, it melts, and then the current can't get through. Okay, so um, main things I guess now we need to talk about our equations. So let's have a section over here for equations. And these are ones that you need to learn. Um, so we should already know, there's only one new equation from this topic. Um, so we should already know that power is the rate of change of uh, rate of energy transfer, so energy over time, and this is for any type of energy. Okay. However, we also need to know specifically for electrical power that power is equal to current times potential difference. Okay, so this is for electrical power. The new equation for this topic is power is equal to current squared times resistance. Okay. And this equation you need to learn, and this is for power that is dissipated, so transferred to the surroundings through heating. Okay, so these two, this you should already know from year nine, probably P1. Um, power equals current times potential difference was in P4, but power equals current squared times resistance is, um, is a new equation. Now, you still should remember your other equations from P4, okay? So, because they could come in. All of this is in paper one in your real exams in year 11. Um, and so the same as, as topic P4 is also in paper one. So they could ask you questions that is on all of the stuff. Um, they could ask questions, like one question where part A is from P4, part B is from um, P5. So you do need to make sure that you know all of it. So we've got to remember that um, charge equals current times time. Um, and we also need to remember that energy is equal to charge times potential difference. And we should probably also remember from P1, efficiency is the useful output over the total input. And that could be power or it could be um, energy. Now, the last thing is um, to think about um, if we are going to um, 
measure uh, home energy consumption. So energy consumption is like how much energy you're using basically. So if we're measuring home energy consumption, um, this is like when you're paying for uh, paying for electricity. So when I get my electricity bill, um, they will take what's called a meter reading. They'll come and have a look at the meter and see how many units of electricity that I've used. So, um, so we use a meter and it's like a box and it has a thing that kind of turns. You get smart meters now that connect straight away to the energy company, but the old traditional ones have like a dial that goes around or has like a little number, um, like a little display that, that shows um, how much energy you've used. Okay, um, but the joule is too small. It's a very small amount of energy. Um, so we use a different unit so we use the kilowatt hour. Okay, now let me just quickly explain for the kilowatt hour. Um, it's, it's still a unit of energy. If we consider the energy is equal to power times time. Okay, we use the joule when power is in watts and time is in seconds. But power in watts I mean a kettle might be 3,000 watts so that's quite a large amount of power really and a second is a very small amount of time if you think that you have your lights on at home um, you know you might have a 60 watt bulb that's on for four hours that's a lot of seconds so what they do instead is we use um, power in kilowatts remembering that one kilowatt is a thousand watts and instead of time being in seconds we use time in hours. And so this gives us an energy unit of the kilowatt hour. So little k, big W, little h, okay?